What's good everybody, welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben, I am a USBC Silver Certified Coach, and today we are taking a look at the all new Brunswick Melee Jab Carbon. Here's some numbers on me, here's some numbers on the ball, and here's how we laid it out. Let's be honest guys, on paper it looks like a simple re-release of the Melee Jab Midnight Blue that was discontinued not long ago, just in a different color. But with the performance of those melee jabs as of late, Brunswick would be foolish not to maintain one in their line as they have had a lot of success with these releases. So this melee jab carbon comes in with the expected low RG, high differential, symmetrical melee core, this time wrapped by the AXH, which is short for Activator Extreme Hook Pearl Reactive Cover Stock at the 1500 grit Crown Factory Compound Finish. And this cover was most recently featured on that Zenith Pearl. So when this ball showed up, I really wasn't sure what to expect. Historically, I haven't matched up great with Brunswick Pearls as they've tended to be a little bit too slow off the spot for me, but the success of the predecessors of this piece can't be doubted either. So we decided to put a pretty basic layout on it just to see what the ball could do rather than trying to force it into being something specific. And on the lanes, all I could say was, wow. The jab carbon looked great on the outside part of the lane, in the track area, and deep inside. It was responsive to hand position, handled early friction well, got off the spot down lane in a good way almost every time and carried damn near every hit. My average with this ball for the first three games outside of these shots was over 270 and that performance speaks for itself. With this release, I finally got to see the shape I saw from my original 900 Global Wolverine again. That bright blue beast was my favorite ball of last season as I could do just about anything with it and it would strike. And the Melee Jab Carbon looks just like it. Even though it is a pearl cover stock, it handles that early friction with ease, not squaring up and flying left, but also doesn't zoom past the break point when you miss it in oil. So to me, this piece would look great in the hands of almost every bowler. Those with a really low ball speed might struggle with it as it will cover a lot of boards and may force them further inside than they wish to be. But other than that, this type of shape is fun and effective for almost all types of bowlers. Sport bowlers will really appreciate the jab carbon on many types of conditions, but especially at the end of qualifying blocks when they have to move to the deep inside part of the lane. Having a ball in your hands that you trust will hook is essential when you're over the gutter cap, and the friction response of this piece is certain to do that and still produce enough angle to go through the pins the right way and get all 10 to go down. So even though the Melee Jab Carbon is the third pearl in the Melee line in a row, it might just be the best one yet. And you can pick this up today and much more at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Big shout out to the guys at Striking Edge Pro Shop for the layout and drilling of this piece and to Dale's Western Lanes for letting us film this video. Before you go, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And of course, remember, having the right ball in your hands, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.